you're not misusing the word literally. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Zignanen, and this is your daily pitch. We need to talk about the word literally. In this social media age, we've come to use it to mean figuratively. Every minute, people around the world send dozens of tweets using it in its alternate sense. And as you can imagine, there's no shortage of people quick to correct their use of the word. In fact, this bar in New York City posted a sign on its door banning the word from its establishment. But technically, it's not wrong. Every modern dictionary literally has two definitions of the word. Merriam-Webster's first definition is in a literal sense or manner. The second definition is literally the opposite of that. In effect, virtually used in an exaggerated way to emphasize a statement or description that is literally not true. People who commented on Merriam-Webster's post were not happy with this definition. One person wrote, it just kills me that literally is literally its own antonym. But really, we've been using it figuratively for a long time. In fact, Merriam-Webster has printed both definitions of the word since 1909. Even some of our greatest writers like Charlotte Bronte and F. Scott Fitzgerald did it. But we are using the word a lot more often now. This chart from Google shows the use of the word literally in books since 1800. And as you can see, we're using it much more frequently now. There are a few other commonly misused words and phrases that peeve grammar snobs everywhere. Here's the correct way to say them. If your ideas don't mesh well, they don't jibe. Some people mistakenly say jive. If you really don't give a hoot about something, you couldn't care less. Some incorrectly say could care less. And the correct phrase is to do something by accident. A lot of people mistakenly say on accident. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon for your next Daily Pitch.